Amid the record-breaking tourism boom in Japan, the country is taking sophisticated approach to help with its inbound travelers. Oryx is one of the largest financial service providers in Japan and is spearheading these efforts by launching an interactive smartphone service which offers foreign tourists fun and easy access to local travel information in multiple languages. その Typically, each regional district would take different approaches to introduce regional attraction to visitors. But with this new service that Oryx developed, a standard platform using the latest technology can be used across the country in cooperation with each region. It's an excellent service. As a tourist, it's really nice to see friendly faces and uh, the app that she showed me works really well. I'm sure it'll help us get around. Yeah, I really enjoy it here in Nagoya. It was good to be able to come into a tourist office where they can speak English and explain things to us really well and it looks like an easy place to get around. One of the popular tourist spots benefiting from Oryx's service is the town of Araimatsu, which is considered to be the historical centre of Japanese tie-dyeing workmanship in the city of Nagoya. This traditional tie-dyeing method began in 1608 and its iconic indigo monotone made it a popular fabric for summer kimonos worn by ordinary people. There are over 100 different methods of Araimatsu tie-dyeing and it's used for dyeing silk, cotton and synthetics. パフレットで、え、バスですとか、the service is expected to expand into 70 different regions across Japan by September this year. The country's hospitality is taking on a new form in the era of mobile technology.